Yeah, 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 yeah. In my heart, there's no room left. No room left. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't got no space in the crew left. Nah, nah. There's no time to waste, that's priceless. It is, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. There's no room left. Nah. There's no room left. Back around the tomb, ain't no room. Wrap the game up, mommy. Ain't no room, my feet in the hills. All my eyes have it. Close my eyes, open them up. You still here? Why? Rock the fuck. Accepting applications, we not in my neck of the woods. Ain't no way, ain't no way. No we, we, we learn patience, learn by cadence, spoken words, high vibrations, levitating, fly by haters, making moves with my squad, digging tunnels underground. Came out into space, jamming with jamming my, my style. Space Jam, the first one of y'all ain't know. Hit the exit, George Jetson. Curry balls, no sales, still got the, got the best pitch. Leverage, gotta be first, there's no seconds. Now, nope. Break them down, fraction. fraction. In my heart, there's no room ain't no room left. left. We ain't got no space in the crew left. Nah, nah, nah. nah. No kind of Negative woods. Less it is, yeah. Not apologetic. Face, yeah. No room left. Nah. Left. There's no room There's no left. room left. Way that I'm Strike it up. Come on here. I've been in this game for a time. It's a change. The process is pain and it gnaws at your veins. Everybody want to take advantage of the little guy. Ain't nobody out. Ain't no little guy. Putting on a wave in the stratosphere, different vibe. Sky, sky walking, don't try. Pop him, don't try. Pop him, they did. Then we dropped him. Then we dropped him. We so negligent. They want to offer him. Jimmy Hoffa. You're an Irish man. You're an Irish. Happy St. Patty's Day. Yeah. Back to the future, then fly. Ben fly. Ben fly. George Jetson. Curry balls, no sales, still back to back to the best pitch. Up in my leverage, gotta be first, there's no second. Snap on the finger, break them down, fraction. fraction. In, in, in my heart, uh -huh. there's no room left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't got no space in the crew nah, left. Nah, nah, there, nah, there's nah, no nah, time to waste, that's priceless. Get it in. about our face, there's no room left. Yo, I could jam to this all day. Woo. No room left. Masada B, Air Wallace. Beat by Q made the beat. That one got left off the project though, and it's fire. Yo, man, that that's that's hot right there. That's yeah. hot right there. But yo, man, this is Let's Chop It Up with Zaz, and today we have Masada M E. What's going on, brother? Life. <laughs> All the way from the West Coast. West side of the world. Yes, West sir. side. Hey, we, we represent for you, those eyes. Hey, man, no doubt, brother, man. So what's going on, man? What's happening with you? Man, what ain't happening with me? You know what? Really, what ain't happening with me? Everything's happening with me right now, honestly. There you um, go. You know what? COVID, shout out to COVID, man. COVID helped me out and it hurt me in a lot of ways. And I'm going to give a shout out to COVID. I got to say that. Shout out to everybody who went through something in COVID. Shout out to people who lost people, people in the past, the loved ones. Shout out to everybody who had hardships, to the nurses, the firemen, all the special people in this world that's really been holding it down. Um, I know there's a lot of bullshit going on, but use it as an advantage. Use it as an opportunity, you know? Because COVID has really played a big part in my life right now, like it has everybody else's. And so what's going on right now, Zaz? You know, ghostwriter right now, a composer for TV shows, doing my own music, not apologetic, the brand. Y'all going to hear about go. it. Y'all know about it. If y'all haven't, you, you better get up on it. Um, hey, ba man. Basically music, though. That's it. My love. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. And you know what? not apologetic man you know what i mean all day yo <laughs> let me let me let me clarify for people what not apologetic is because people want to say unapologetic and all this other bullshit go look up the definition of unapologetic it's one word y'all want to take a guess what that is not apologetic when you look up unapologetic and they say unapologetically and all that nah fuck that not apologetic and what that means is be who you are, love who you love, and be a good person in this world and be not apologetic about it. Just don't hurt anyone. That's all it means. It don't mean to be rude or anything else. It means be who you really are. Let people see who you really are. And that's that's what I'm about this year. And that's what COVID brought me back to, to coming back into my own, to being Masada and letting people see who I am and not hurting anybody and just being me and having fun with it. Um, 
right now it's kind of weird. I got, I, you know, coming back, I'm driving. Um, I do a lot of things. I, I'm, I got my hands in a lot of pots, you know. Um, it's the way, my man. Favorite, it's the only way. Only way, bro. My, my love, though, is children because they are the future and they're unaffected by what we are going to do to them, what life is going to do to them, the world and people. So I love them. Chess. C H E S S chess. Yes. When they say chess, not checkers, I'm a chess master. So I teach it. I teach it in schools. I teach it uh, privately. I love chess. So I'm coming back from chess, having a good, good day. You know, it was the kids last day and all they loving and all that. I talked to a homie and this is, this is where it gets interesting. Y'all do what y'all do. I've been doing this for like 15 years. I've been doing it professionally for 15 years. I done met all kinds of people that rap, sing, do whatever. And some of them say they better. People say this and that. The whole goal is to make money, supposedly. For me, the goal is to get my message out there. And my message is around worldwide. Like, literally, you can find me on anything. I got this one person there talking to me. And they're like, yo, I just heard all your music. I ain't like nothing. And I'm like, you ain't like nothing? And they're like, nah, but I got homies out here who ain't don't nobody know. And I love all this shit. Did y'all hear what I just said? I had a person <laughs> tell me. My shit worldwide, I get a lot of people. When I do a show, I get old people, young people. I get everybody telling me I'm the best they've seen on stage because I really do my shit. My voice is heavy. Some people like, I don't like a deep voice. You don't like power and authority. That ain't my fault. Do you? <laughs> I literally had somebody who telling me they love me. They close to me. They cool with me. And they tell me I ain't shit. But the people that they rock with is something. And I'm like, well, let them do something. Oh, no, they ain't like that. They ain't like that. They got their stuff going. Why don't you help them? You told me I ain't got nothing you like. Well, how can I help them then? And that's hey, just it. There's always there's always that that uh that catch, man, where people, you know, they, they always have an agenda. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, you know, you got to be careful, man, who you rock with and all that. And you know? I learned that late in the game. I, I try to rock with everybody. Nah, not no more. That's what that song, No Room Left for Spoke. Shout out <laughs> to Air. So we told him, ain't no more room left for any of that bullshit no more. Hey, man. And then coming out of the West Side, man, you guys got your own style. I've always told you that, you know, it's, it's definitely West Side, man. But it's that it's that 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 go hard, that that smooth, soulful, melodic. You know, all that mixed into one, man. Yeah, well. It never my, fails, man. Mine's a little rough, too, because I pick up on some East Coast stuff, yo. You know, like, uh, so for me, shout out Double R. Shout out Rough Riders. Shout out DMX. Real, rest up, man. People don't like that growl no more, but we need that. Everybody want to yeah. be soft bitches nowadays, and, and that's real shit. Not everybody, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I, everybody, nobody wants that growl no more, but we need that because you can't. Hip hop started with the streets. And for me, the streets is concrete. I ain't never seen streets with, with grass and softness. Nah. The streets is gritty. So what happened to the gritty? I know it's 2022 and everybody living kind of pretty nowadays, but shout out to the West Coast. I'm definitely West Coast born, but uh, I'm Mississippi Southside born. I rep the SIP all day. Don't forget that L.A., the boot, Louisiana, not L.A., the Dodgers. But I fuck with y'all L.A. <laughs> up there. I'm in SD, but I fuck with L.A. Trust me. West Coast official. I'm, I'm half and half. Got a tatted go. on me, born sworn in. We good, but I always got to shout out to the South Side, the Mississippi, because that's where I get me from. And then the rest of me, I tell people, I was born in the South and I was raised in the West. Yeah, I grew up in the South, then I grew up in the West. If I that really don't make, if that don't make you a man, bro, <laughs> then nothing will, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, got hey, the yo, hospitality, so man, and then you got the, you know, the the West Side, man. Man, you know, y'all come to the West is, yo, West Side love. When they say West, West Side, West Coast, California love, West Coast love. And I'm talking about Nevada. I'm talking about Arizona, Washington, Oregon, West Coast love, baby. You know what it is when you step on the West. I bring the West with me. There you go, brother. There you go. So tell us, man. I mean, you, you, you always got your hands in a bunch of stuff, man, you know. You do your your personal music. You do the ventures with Neck of the Woods, Hey Wallace, No Shenanigans, Bossy. You know what I mean? Simple. Shout out, simple. You know? And, I mean, it's always, it, it, it's a lot of projects, a lot of work. A lot of people don't know, man. 
you guys put a lot of you guys put a lot of work in, man. Yeah, well, hey, so all right, so the team negative woods. I, I gotta give a shout out. Head of that is no sheesh, air wireless, bossy boss, simple, uh pink diamond in that joint too. They they coming. Yeah, y'all, y'all don't understand. Yeah, pink they, diamond coming. Yeah, they when they I say they coming, they already there. Y'all just don't know it, but they coming, like coming hard. They're my people. Shout out, shout out to them. No sheesh on the beat. She hooks everybody up with the beat. One of the best beat makers ever. Yes, 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 yes. Not and then you, you know, no man, cap on. I'm trying to tell you, man. They, 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 another one, man. That's gonna be, man. I can't wait. To drop that bomb on them, man. <laughs> man. Yo, that joint y'all heard. No room left is made by Q. Made the beat. Platinum producer. He got all all these accolades. Dude, just dude, fire y'all. Y'all ain't heard of him. Then you just sleeping. Um. But that was one of his tracks, and it didn't even make our new joint. And a new joint coming out, matter of fact, with me and Air Wallace, is produced mostly by No Sheesh. So when I say she coming, she here. No Sheesh is coming, man, no doubt. So what So what keeps that, that vibe, you know, because like you said, you do have that East Coast vibe also on top of the West Coast. And that, that's what makes it so melodic. Every time I listen to the tracks, I'm like, damn, yo, this joint is different, man. How you guys get that flow to go like that? No sheesh and Air Wallace. Uh, no sheesh and Air Wallace. They're the start of it with the melodic and the flow. I just come in with the raw and, and the gritty, and, I, and they they help me out with my my tone, my melody. No front, no cap. That's what it be. She comes out. Man, I don't even know how to start. I would, The simplest way to say this is, you ever been in a room with somebody that, that can make a beat right there on spot, and then y'all come up with a song? People mm-hmm. ask me, the other day, some dude last night asked me, he said, how long did it take you to write a song, like an hour, a day, or or what? And I laughed. And he was like, why'd you laugh? And I was like, man, it just depends on who I'm with and where I'm at. If I'm with No Sheesh and Air Wallace, we, we write like 10 songs in like two days. And that's us sleeping, smoking, going to do some other shit and coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, man. Next thing you know, you got a whole project, you know, dropping that John is crazy, man. But you definitely stay relevant, man. Like, like, like I said before, man, you know, you always got your hands in a lot of stuff. Now you was, you do, you know, commercial stuff. Um, yes. You've been in the source, you know, tell us about that. How, how do you get yourself tied up with those, with those kind of, uh, you know, expressions and all that with advertisement, you know, um, my mouthpiece, man. Um, I have a mouthpiece since I was little. I've never been afraid to speak what I feel. Um, if I want something, I go get it. Um, I got into the composing and I got into the television and all. Honestly, uh, a homie, I'm going to give them credit too. Um, this is another thing about me. I get credit where credit due. A homie named Lionel, we were all at his crib playing a game and then they stopped and we were watching TV. And honestly, this TV show came on. And dude was like, yo, we should go do that. And I'm like, do what? And he's like, it's storage wars. Let's go, let's go and go grab some. Let's just go grab some. You know what I mean? Let's go buy some. Who knows what you're gonna find? So we plan to do it. We go up there, and actually the TV show was up there. And me, it's kind of funny because I don't have my brand on now because I wanted everybody to know this is what a real cool dad looked like. Cause I live for my kids. That's what it is for. That's um, so everything I do is for my babies, uh, you know. So that's why I put this on. But usually I have my brand on. My brand is everywhere. You gonna you trust me? It's everywhere. I everywhere. Yeah. I have it everywhere. I'm all about marketing me. There you, you go. Market all these other stuff. So anyway, we at the stories, right? And they're like, "Yo, they making people check off the Nike signs. You gotta cross out. They gonna blur out this." They was like, "Yo, we gotta blur out that shirt." I said, "No, you don't." They said, why? I said, this is mine. They made me sign some paperwork. I signed some paperwork showing it was mine. After the show, I just went and talked to them. That's it. I went and talked to them. Oh, ah, there people, you go. <laughs> yeah, most people think when they hear me, they, they can feel me, you know? That's it. So I, I started with that. And then from that, November 7th, 2018, I had twins. And the same day I had twins, I was in the hospital room holding my twins, watching my show, uh, watching the show, Air My Music. It was the best feeling in the world. Wow. Can't even lie to you. Look at that, bro. That's crazy, man. And you know, and you you still got ties in that, man. So you always gonna be working. Yeah. And you know, putting that, putting that work in there, man. Man, I, I look, I love music. A lot of people do music for whatever reason they have. 
I do it because I love it. La Musica es mi amor. There you go. There you go. Music is your, your heart, man. That's what's up. Yeah. But listen, man, what can we expect this year from you? <laughs> So this year, crazy. So last year, I took a break. And what I mean by what I took a break, last year, January, I dropped two albums. I dropped uh, a project with Soup Bone. Shout out to a Rough Rider, Soup Bone. Dude, better than motherfucker, my brother. I love you. Shout out to him. I dropped the Apostles with him. We had 13 joints on that that all slapped. Q made the beat produced. They all mm. slapped. Then I dropped uh, another project. And from then, I dropped a single a month. And that's why I say I was being lazy and I took it easy. I dropped a single a month. This year, I have four albums, one all by myself, three compilations with different people. Um, and then I have about 50 songs, literally no lie. <laughs> all just sitting ready to go and I stay writing. Um, so this year you can expect a whole lot. I got a whole bunch of West Coast people on this motherfucker. It's coming. Y'all going to see um i don't even want to name no names but y'all gonna be surprised who it is i'm with some real real legends in the game on it some real real legends that's what's up man that's, that's about to go up. down um my biggest joint i just dropped right now that i i like um it's called what if uh, I, ha I had a female singer sing it i write a lot i love music it's from rap hip-hop country whatever the beat say i do it No, um, people are like how do you write whatever the beat say i do it so um, the joint what if is just about what if tomorrow never comes we had COVID going on you know I heard the song and it just kept saying what if so it's what if tomorrow what if tomorrow never comes if it don't come what, what you doing and if it don't come I'm leaving you feel me and that you can apply that to a lot of stuff so shout out to you man first of all hold on Let hey man <laughs> shout out to you hey. spotify everything shout out to this man right here he, he's the plug when i say the plug most people be like yo i got a plug but the <laughs> other person don't know that plug when i say he the plug my dude hit me up he knew what i was doing he was like yo i got a homie you need to get with big french shout out to you big french hey man big french man he plugged man. me with that and from what i know of this man right here he's been plugging everybody y'all and hey, that's man. what a real plug is a real plug is to be like I know somebody who got the water. I know somebody who got the pot. Somebody got the sugar. I don't need them to go through me. Let me help them all out, talk to each other, and then they can come back to me and we can sip and drink that tea or whatever you're going to brew up. You feel me? There you go, fam, man. You know how we do, man. Yeah. Hey, man, that's the only way to do, man. If you can help somebody out. You should. Yo, that, that's it, man. That's it. Yeah. Um, no, so man. I got a lot of things away, man. I know I talk talked uh, around, but I got a lot. I got four albums coming out, about 40 songs. I got some movie shits coming out. I got some TV soundtracks coming out. Um, so tell us, tell us, friends. listen, tell us not to cut you off, but tell us what's the process of like when you going into like a movie, like a like a set uh, or do they have you there? Like, how does that work with the music and all that? different times um it's different situations sometimes you can be there you're never on set all the time but sometimes you can go in and get a feel for the people you work with go and actually be around them and see you know hear their voice see they move see they swag they vibe what they're into and you can make something off of that or you can just watch the show if it's a show watch the show a couple of times see what it's about you know what i mean and then and then send them tracks so you either there and you're doing it in their studio or most of the time I'm right here at home, you know, or no sheesh in the neck of the woods and you just making music. You're making everybody's focus. This is what I'm telling all young artists, you know, you can like me or not like me, but this is real shit for all young artists and even the older heads. Most people want to do the radio. They want to get all on this, uh, all on these marketing ways you know from all these social medias i don't want to just name all of them we're on spotify now so i'll say spotify right the secret is making music you love and then other people will love it too don't never go out there putting out a music and being like wondering if this person is gonna like it because mm. if you're already in that mindset nobody's gonna like it why would i like something if you're questioning if i'm gonna like it or if you if you don't like it everybody loves confidence but not false confidence real confidence not cockiness but real confidence so when you're there, sometimes you're in the studio, sometimes you're not. And basically, you just got to make tracks. You have to make tracks 
that makes sense in the sense of not that it just sounds good because a lot of people get caught in the jingle. They get caught in, man, that beat go. Let me just ride the beat. But you're not telling a story. You're not doing any, saying anything impactful. For movies, for TV, you need something impactful, something people are going to remember. So that means like you just need something memorable. That's you know? true. That's yeah, true. Not, not nothing catching you fast because if you make a song that hit today, and, and next year, nobody want to hear it or five years from now, somebody hear it and be like, what the fuck is this? That's not that's not what's happening. You need to make memorable stories. Something people can roll along to. Especially especially the movies, though, man, because a lot of times your favorite movies is your favorite movie because that movie soundtrack is a part of that, man. For real, though. <laughs> For real, real. That you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put my money green hat on right now because... There you go. There you go. I got kids. They be rocking it, you know, so I, I got to switch it out. I got a big ass head, y'all. I, I know a lot of people do fit it. I do fit it at time, too, but I do snapbacks because I got a big ass head, y'all. So listen, man, <laughs> tell us about the source, man. You was in the source, too, right? Yes, sir. I was in the source in Hip Hop Weekly. Uh, the source came with the project The Apostles. My homeboy, once again, shout out to my brother, Sue Bone. Uh, he got with me, came together and was like, yo, I want to do some real powerful shit. Let, let's go. And I was like, word, let's go. He came up with six tracks. I came up with seven. Uh, well, we really came up with like 20, but we broke it down. You know, when you ever do an album or something for everybody, whatever you do, if you do 10 tracks, those 10 tracks just don't make it. You should do 15 and then get it down. You know, whatever your number is, aim higher than that. Always aim higher. Um, but he got with me and was like, let's do something. He introduced me to Q made the beat. Um, I was working on my own project at the time. He heard a joint off my project and was like, yo, you made that? That's fire. I was like, yeah. He was like, all right, I can fuck with that. Let, let's do something. Q was was there and he was like, um, I got beats for you. He sent me like 30 or 40 beats. And this, this is funny, Q. He sent me like 30 or 40 beats. Within like, I'll say five to 10 days, I hit him and I was like, yo, I like these beats. He was like, tell me which ones. I sent them all and was like, yo, I wrote all of them. He said, oh, ho, slow down, bro. You're not doing, you don't, don't write to all of them. It's like, they got a price tag. <laughs> <laughs> yo, me, I'm eager. So I've been doing this shit. I went to school for it, y'all. Um, and you know, I know everybody into music now and all, but I've been doing this, like I said, for 15 years. 15 years ago, you couldn't just jump on Apple and Spotify and all the other know. shit. It was really, really hard. CD yes, Baby was, was around, shout out to them, but it still yes. was harder. So I went to school for it. I'm doing all this. So I finally got with Q and my brother, Supon. And when he gave me the 30 beats, I thought, I'm, for me, you give me beats. I'm going to write to all of them. Just like my brother, Eric Wallace, say. He said, yo, people be mad when I don't ask to hop on their tracks. They just don't know. I'll hop on anything. You got to ask me because if not, I, I'm going to want to be on it anyway. I hear a beat. It could be a beat on TV I'm already writing in my head. Um, so back to the album and back to the source. Supon said, let's do this put the tracks out um we made 13 slapping tracks it got a hold of some ears went through north carolina went back up um source reached out to them they reached mm. back and was like yo this is dope put us in there um we did a track called sir paul sir paul honor to paul mccarthy one of the legends in music big time get up to that status um we did it it's sir paul and the shit just bang we had my boy shout out jay simp Jay sent a great videographer, great DJ, my brother, shout out. Um, he did the video and they liked it. It was fire. Reached out to a guy, Actual, another big time, big dude, Actual, shout out to him. Um, Q made a beat, sent it to me and I couldn't hear none, but I was like, this beat is fucking fire. I need something done. <laughs> Actual heard it. And what he sent back, what he sent back was so dope. It was the first time I realized that I was industry. I took it to Q, my brother Supo and them did something. I did something real quick. I went in there and Q was like, nah. I was like, what? He said, we ain't doing that. He said, come back when you're ready. That shit shocked the fuck out of me. What, what do you mean? Uh, and it wasn't the lyrics I had. Yeah. It was, I was so hyped and aggressive. And the delivery. song was smooth. Yes, the delivery. The song was so smooth. They was like, yo, listen to the song. And I was listening to it, but yo, you get me on a beat. You get me excited. This voice y'all hear right now. I'm on it. Trust me. 
when y'all hear the voice, the voice come. Yeah. And so it couldn't come like that. I had to smooth it out even more. So I smoothed it out and I was like, all right, cool. And that's my first time introducing to it. So anyway, the source got a hold of that one. Party all night. Go check it out. Sir Paul, party all night. First two off the apostles that came out. They were smashing the whole apostle joint, man. Helping hands. Woo, man. Let them gossip. That the songs are smacking. <laughs> so during the time we were writing the songs, my mom passed. And I was in a dark place, but not, not in a dark place. So I was just writing, y'all. I, I was like I said, he gave me 30 beats. I wrote all 30 of them. They was like, slow down, homie. Slow down, slow down. Let's do this shit right. Damn. Um, we, we did it right. Just got a hold of the source. Hip hop weekly came. They was like, yo, we feeling this. It's fire. Let's put you in it. And me and Sue Bong got on it, and that was all she wrote. Wow. That's what's up, man. You know what? And it be like that, too. When you go crazy writing like that, man, yo, all kinds of stuff come out, man. All the feelings, everything. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. So, you know, you 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 got a good project coming out. We can't talk too much about it. Um, But that's Let's coming. to West Coast. There you go. Yeah, the project I got is called Two West Coast, and it has six West Coast legends on it. Um, and then before that, I'm going to come out with a song with an East Coast legend. And when I say an East Coast legend, one of the founders of this shit. Yes, there you yes, go. It's, it's there coming. you go. There you go, man. So which month that that's going to drop? That's the game I'm playing right now with myself. I got so much dropping. Um Right now, I'm focused on Matter of Fact. Matter of Fact is my album out coming with Air Wallace. It's the follow-up to Mind and Matter. Um, Mind and Matter is, is a smashing album that I did with my brother Air Wallace. Um, we got together, and he was like, yo, we two of the illest motherfuckers. Honestly, he really my only competition, but I don't, we don't look at each other like that, but <laughs> nice. we do. Friendly competition, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, so we did Mind and Matter. Uh, let it ride for a year and then was like yo we need to follow up on that and matter of fact is coming so matter of fact is dropping in april 420 shout out happy birthday um, boom 420 baby let's go yeah we have to drop uh give me give me a toast so it's like you said neck of the woods not apologetic not apologetic as a family but it's a team neck of the woods has a team they have a squad so we don't want to overlap each other, but at the same time, we don't want to just sit still and, and hold songs. So we map and plot things out. And so right now my album is probably going to get dropped in June. But before that, I'm dropping Matter of Fact, and that's dropping in April. Um, we're dropping Give Me a Toast the beginning of April. We're dropping Gas on the 14th of April. Y'all going to love both of those. Um, and then I'm going to drop uh, the single on my soul mm. the single on my soul is a soulful joint it's not rapping I, I hired another singer i went and got another singer that can sing um and it's just on my soul real shit what i put on my soul and that's gonna be the first joint that's coming off of i actually lied to y'all i'm dropping two individual albums with just me and then i'm dropping four compilations with four different people um cb mm. world shout out to my boy keith black cb world Man, it's the truth on some beats, the instrumentals. I, I brag up on no sheesh, but we got a team over here. Big French got some beats for y'all instrumentals, y'all. No sheesh definitely got some. Boom. And CB World is an East Coast brother, but the dude got soul. I love your beats, bro. Shout out to Major Pressure, too. I, I can't forget you. That's that. Man, we got a squad over here getting beats. But um, so I'm dropping on my soul. That's going to be the first one, and that's probably going to drop in June or in May. And then from there, I have two different albums coming out. I have an album coming out with beats from Anno Domination and Legion Beats because I wanted to get every, everybody what they wanted. Everybody told me uh, to make songs what the fans want, so I'm giving them what they want on that because I, I just yeah, make music. Definitely I love. do that. Yeah, you, you have to. But uh, I warn people with that, there's different type of fans. So I, I grew up in Mississippi and Louisiana, right, New Orleans. Growing up there, you get jazz, bluegrass, you get bounce music. You know, mixture, if y'all know man. what bounce music is, you know what it is. <laughs> uh, you get a mixture. So I'm just not rap. I'm just not this. So I'm bringing out one album, what the fans want, all the new shit, all the, you know, they want the flow. Nowadays, you got to be melodic with a flow with bars, right? 
me, I love storytelling. I love progression and digression in a song. I love a high and a lows of a song. So my joints coming out, they're blues, they're rap, they're pop, they're hip hop, because there's the difference between rap and hip hop in their country. And they're all written by me and rock and roll. There you go. If you don't get enough of that, boy, you get a pot full of everything, man. <laughs> music, man. You can't limit yourself to one genre, y'all. There's nah, so much man. music out there in this world. It's like so much food. That's like only eating one. one that's only like eating pork. You missing out on steak. I'm telling look, you, man. I don't even eat meat, y'all. Seven years of pescatarian. Shout out to all my vegans. Y'all do it. <laughs> Yo, man, we wanted to bring you up here, man, to big you up. You know what I mean? You know, talk to the fans, let them know what it is, you know, and let people know, give them an update on what's going on, what's about to happen, you know, and uh, yeah, man, you're doing it, man. Keep doing it. Don't stop. You know what I mean? This is just the beginning, man. M dot E, not apologetic or just not apologetic. Not apologetic. We do event planning. We do yacht parties. We do weddings, quinceañeras. We do anything you can think of. We just do it for you and your style, not mm. ours. The tailors, man, they tailor to your taste. Yes. You know what I mean? Definitely, man. But yeah, man, no doubt. We wanted to bring you up here representing Masada M.E. Not apologetic. Get ready. Crazy, crazy year coming. It's happening. Crazy year. Brrrum. Let's Check chop it up with Zaz, y'all. Matter of fact. Peace. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not apologetic. And that could have back out of the game and shit. Consider me papa, don't bring me no drama Just give me a toast, speak to me proper Or I just might pop up and make you a ghost We don't do time wasting on the grind Chasing every dime, I ain't talking hoes We on the rise cause we like to shine For the sunrise, it ain't even close Doing the most Thanks for the prayers, thanks for the weight Thanks for the love, thanks for the hate